Yeah, we good. We back. Yeah, we back. And, and, and Slaughter, let me tell you, let me tell you, Slaughter, hey, look. So the spot where I'm pumping the work at, right, in front of the Buffalo Wild Wings, right? So now, I told you about the security guard chick that tried her hand, right? Yeah, nah, nah. I didn't tell you about that. You didn't see it on you? On, I, I posted to Facebook. Nah, nah, I don't, I don't like I said, my, 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 um, my notification. I don't really be on it like that, so I don't, I don't even look mm-hmm. No, me neither. I just I got a couple little chunks I be on or you know, I send my shit to, but look. What look. A sister now. She a security guard for the uh for the complex by the library. Okay. okay. She comes back. She comes past the spot. Me and my man MC Scrappy out there sitting. I got the work sitting out there, you know what I'm saying? And you know, but my little stand and everything. Not nothing big, something I can just put in my pocket and walk off with. So look, she comes by like she interested, like she know about the work. Cause she see that pink, she see that pink sitting up there. So she comes over and says, "Oh wow, uh, uh, how much of these were ever?" So I told her how much they were. You know what this bitch do? Oh yeah, but you know you're supposed to be over here uh, selling this out of license, right? I said, oh yeah. <laughs> Who says I'm selling it? You just say you're selling it. No, you came over and questioned me. I didn't solicitate you. You came over. I'm here waiting for my clients. I have personal clients with everybody. I don't know what, what this is. Okay, it's a black thing. So she gonna tell me. She gonna tell me. Oh, you still need a permit and this that, and the other and blah 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 blah. Well, I said, well, go ahead, call the police and do what you do. Let's find out from the professional. Because I ain't going nowhere, Slaughter. You hear me? Because I already know in my mind that you out of bounds. This is public property. Y'all shit don't start till you get to that pole. I've done security and shit like that. I've done, this, I've done perimeter shit too much long. I know. I know. And I know Buffalo Wild Wings can't say nothing either because I'm not on it. That is a, that's like a town square. All the benches along that sidewalk, that's public property. Right, right. So guess what? She calls the police. So I'm there, me and my man MC Scrappy, uh, another nephew and another old head from the compound. He walks off all of this. Yeah, I tell you, that, that we, got this, we got this bitch-ass nigga crew that every time the police show up, they walk off. Scared. Okay. I'm like, what the fuck is y'all walking off for? Y'all like motherfuckers be dying and getting choked out and shit because y'all niggas a coward, don't want to walk off and don't want to take a charge for nothing. Okay? So, so she calls the boys, right? She calls the police. All right. I ain't going nowhere. Oh, you got to pack it. You got to pack it. Well, since you say that, well, since you don't have to have a license, you got to pack up and go, I ain't going nowhere, bitch, and you ain't telling me to pack up nothing. Who the fuck is you talking to? I mean, I ain't right. going to like that. Cause you know when I when I get into a, a real junk, I don't use no curse words. So I was like, right. you know, who are you telling? Who are you talking to? I'm old enough to be your fucking father out this joint. Right. Okay. Um. So the boys, so the boys came up, right? I'm waiting. I want to hear it. I want to hear it officially. I want them motherfuckers to make me move. I want them to. I want it so bad. I want it so bad. Okay. Because if you if, then if you was gonna make me move, then I wasn't gonna do nothing but go buy me another belt from the sheik and come around there and walk around with my belt. <laughs> then you can't say nothing. So right. when the police got up, it was uh my my man, he's my man now because he realized who I was. Uh it was him and the white dude. Mm-hmm. White cop. So when he showed up, he said, Look, we've been getting calls. And we've been having to tell people, and uh, we just want to let you know you're doing nothing wrong. You're fine. You should have seen the look on that whole face. And then the other white cop, he he wanted a piece of the action so bad you could see his motherfucking ass twitching because I started sassing that hoe. As he said, they said, man, you on public property. 
You don't have to go nowhere. You're okay. You're fine. I was like, thank you. Appreciate yeah, that. That's called, yeah, that's called nigga larceny. That's what you get. And listen, <laughs> so while they were still standing there, I commenced assassinating her ass. Like, look, uh, you know, uh, what if this was my only job? What if this? What if I got five kids in a hotel room somewhere, and I got 15 years parole, and I can't do nothing else but make this move that I'm making right here to feed my kids? And you basically call the folks on me because you ain't got nothing better to do to, to try to infiltrate what I was doing and then go try to go on me like, I, oh, wait, well, this what you did. What is you? You make it young. You, you, I was like, do you know who I am? And so because when the cop came up, he already knew who I am. He's like, oh, yeah, I got my body cam on because I'm the only one to be saying this. So you got your body cam on? Because I got mine on. It's called Facebook Live. <laughs> so I had my cam on. So, so, she, so she goes into apologize mode. Oh, I'm sorry. I apologize. So the cop tell me that, yeah, we've been getting calls in Kins and Kearns. You know what I'm saying? We've been getting calls in about you over here selling without a permit, whatever. You know that's some current shit. And, I, and you said, we've been having to tell them people that stop calling and waste police time because he's on public property. Okay? Now, what it is, them crackers are mad because I'm getting money. <laughs> <laughs> and they don't understand it <laughs> because all the people that come to fuck with me in the work is black people <laughs> now I sold a couple of incidents to some you know other people but once people see that black our people see I got that work and what I'm selling it for it's been pumping <laughs> and they can't stand it every time they turn around I'm trying I'm getting money selling incense I got the lotion I'm, pump, I'm pumping I got the work so um, so after I got her dealt with, and I made sure she heard me make that statement, like, what if this is the only thing that I could do to take care of my family, you know, and all y'all black sisters about niggas ain't doing nothing to feed their family, but what if this was the only hustle I got to feed my family that was legal, and I got probation or child support, whatever the case, that I can't get no regular job, I got to do this. So basically, basically, black woman, you're stepping on my motherfucking toes and I'm trying to do something right. So we gonna we gonna we gonna so we gonna wrap it up. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't blame it on them because black niggas do that old fucking shit. Yeah, I, I know because I'm great because that's our next that's our next candidate. I'm gonna tell you the next. Uh, I'm great. I'm great. I'm telling you about the next Bilbo Baggins, uh, Coon 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 Jungle Man. Okay. Yeah. He had he had his he had, he had his boat he had his, he had his banjo on his motherfucking back. Okay. He's <laughs> yeah. so, part of the Coon Opera. <laughs> <laughs> the coonocracy. <laughs> uh, hey, so look, so this nigga, you know, I ain't gonna go on his size and everything. Short, short, upside down, bowling ball looking ass nigga. Right. Okay. He was the white dude trying to. Trying to boot Nick and Bojangle. He do the same thing. He walked past me, and I got MC Scruffy with me, which is a white dude, oh, a little homeless white dude. That's my man. All right. So, so he walks past, and I'm not saying nothing because I got my music going too. I got I'm spinning some house. I'm I'm spinning music while I'm out there on my little Bluetooth, and that's just not even loud. You know what I'm saying? I'm not disturbed. I'm not do. You know what I'm saying? I know. I know the decibels and shit. How loud it? You're right. So he walks by. He said, "What's going on right here?" I said, "Come on over here. Find out what's going on over here." Because he, he was at the steps at the at the Buffalo Wild Wings, and I'm over there. I'm like at least fucking twelve to ten feet away from him. He, got, he looks at me like, well, "What's going on over here?" Trying to press the white dude, and I'm like, "Come on over here. Find out what's going on." And he came and said, uh, what are you doing? You, you, you can't be such a shit. I said, yeah. I said, I don't know. I've been through that before. I can do this here. This is public property. He works for the fucking, whoever owns all three of those buildings, he works for this big building, building firm who owns those buildings. I don't give a fuck. You don't own the street, which my tax dollars I've been paying for since I was a child because when I was 18 years old, there's two motherfucking builders I helped put up doing fucking construction with motherfucking Virginia Basery. Okay? So, 
I don't want to hear that. I know what public property is and what building start. Right. So you can't even tell me, uh, well, you got to go to, I ain't doing nothing, call the police. Because what I wanted, what I was wanted to do, I wanted to see the look on his face when the cops showed up and said, oh, no, you're wrong. You got to leave him alone. He can't, he can be here. So I bucked and I told him, man, go do what you do. And then when he was walking over to me, when he, when he said, oh, you came here, I said, oh, I said, it's all, I, I told my man, I told MC Scrub, I said, man, it's always a black one. It's always a black one. Cooning. And then when I said that, he was like, oh, well, well why we got, we going there? Well, fuck you mean, why we going there? Because that's what it is. Because the last person that approached me about this shit was black too. And I went on and I'm, de- and listen, even though I'm talking to them, you know, in, in, you know, calm and sharp and on my game, I am ready to beat the shit out of any one of them motherfuckers that actually even make a wrong motherfucking move. When you make a wrong move, I'm going to fuck y'all up out here on these motherfucking streets. I'm going to beat the shit out of a couple. Hey, come on. Come on, like, uh, come on, you want y'all want to try a jump? Nigga, I'm from those no, full. I know how to fight a jump. Bring your asses on try. <laughs> Which one y'all want to be leaking first? <laughs> that shit, this, and it made me so mad, like, brother. I'm not out here cussing. I make sure that when people around me do not be sweating these ladies, all that cat calling shit, don't do that shit around me. You know what I'm saying? Everybody come around to my lord, that's my area now. Because it's now that y'all played with me twice with this, and the police done let me know that people calling in y'all, y'all hating. Hmm. Haterade, I use that as motherfucking fuel. So now, that's my store. Now I'm posted up. Yeah, that's my shop right there. I'm posted up like F Street now. You know the F Street Mall? That's how I'm posted now. That's how I'm going. <laughs> I can't hear you. I can hear you. You know, this cause, and I wasn't, it, it's like, they look at brothers outside sometimes like, we ain't got nothing else to do. No. I got plenty to do inside my motherfucking home. I come out to do my outside shit, okay? You know, don't you know? Don't look at me because I'm outside that this is all I got. No, motherfuckers, y'all crazy. Yeah. My drip, looking at my, because I go outside, I got drip. You should be looking at my, I think that's what it is. You should be looking at my, you can tell that I got almost at least $500 worth of clothes every time I step outside this motherfucking door. <laughs> no less than. Sometimes more than. Okay? And I ain't went out my jewelry yet. Okay? Because I got some more jewelry coming. I ain't, they ain't seen me, seen me out there in my jewelry and shit yet. I ain't even really got, I ain't really got flea on them yet. I just been showing that I'm hood, I just been showing their ass I'm hood rich. So guess what? After that, after that, after that, after that discussion, this motherfucker comes the next day. Now I got Alba with me. Me and Alba down there trapping now. Because, yeah, yeah. Oh, we mom and popping it now. Since y'all play with me, we got the lawn chair down there, everything. <laughs> I'm going to get a hibachi. <laughs> because they play with me. So, me and, I, me and Alba down there trapping. Because she's speaking, you know, I'm trying to get some female Spanish customers for the work. He walks by the same dude. He wasn't with the white dude this time. He's by himself. He's carrying a screen. Like for like to put in the screen door, or screen window. He's carrying the screen. He gonna stop in front of me and Alba and MC Scrappy, and pull out his phone to take a picture of the work, what I got on the thing, and then pick up the screen and walk off. I let him go. I didn't say a word. I looked at Alba. I was looking at me. I didn't say where I let him go because I already got joke ammunition now at this point. <laughs> You're just a maintenance man. <laughs> <laughs> you're just a maintenance man, dude. When I saw him with that screen in his hand, I was like, oh, no, you're done, bro. You you don't stand a chance next time you come past me because I'm going to flame you. I'm going to cook you up with some of these good old-fashioned no feast Navy SEAL jokes. So go on, go down there and put that screen in, and while you at it, go around there and tell Julio to get inside that grass he missed over there, too. So the joke's about to start flying the next time you walk past me doing anything. Now, he took a picture of my man MC Scrappy because Scrappy carried his little his little roller bag I gave him, you know what I'm saying, for his little gear and shit. Um, so 
Scrappy said, there you go again. He's taking pictures of us across the street now. So the next time, when we going down there to Ma, me and I were going down there and trap the Ma. When we go down there to Ma, I'm going to have an extra camera for him. I'm going to have an extra camera. I'm going to take pictures of him taking pictures of us. And then when I do, I'm going to call my man from the, I'm going to call the station, get my man to come down there. And I'm going to let him know, let the police know. My my, my, my my police partner let him know. Hey, look, man, this dude been harassing me about the same old shit that you came and hollered at me about. He's taking pictures of us. He come and do this mess. He has some words with me. I don't, I don't know if he's trying to provoke a situation or not, but as long as I let you know, here's the picture. He's taking pictures of us. It's not cool. It's harassment. Once I get that in his hands and let the police notify, next time then then the words gonna fly. Next time I see him. If he, and if you look my way and try to get that goofy shit, I'm going to start joning on his ass, and I'm going to make him mad. I'm trying to make him mad enough so he'll jump out there so I can beat the fucking crap out of his motherfucking ass and get away scot-free since I already told the police about him. See, it's called, ba- it's called setting a trap, Rambo style. I'm going to bring your ass to me, okay? He's going to lose his job. He's going to lose his job, and then I'm going to wind up suing the motherfucking complex, that whole car, I'm going to sue their ass. Because first of all, you're already discriminating me because y'all wanted me to perform on the stage. Oh, see, we're gonna pull that one out. We're gonna pull oh, I got a whole bunch of goodies I'm gonna pull out. Cause see, when she saw me hurt when she saw me, cause see now, she don't even be in uniform no more. She be in plain clothes. So when I went through the other night, goes Jim is out there on the stage with they with they bop, with they music, doing Zumba. And I'm looking at her and the security guy. He don't know what's going on, but I'm looking at her like, bitch, didn't we hear this conversation about y'all told me I need a permit down this motherfucker for shit, and these motherfuckers up here performing? When did they get their permit? Y'all already got the other guala motherfuckers down here on every Thursday night. He told me that he he won't even tell me how to get the fucking hook up. Told me to go 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 try the African restaurant. Oh yeah. Okay, well guess what? Not only has y'all been harassing me with your little your little funky ass maintenance dude, but now y'all discriminate against me and won't let me perform on stage like everybody else in this community? Oh yeah, got you. So play with me if you want to. I'm gonna barbecue your ass in court. And I told him about it that day in front of his man, in front of the white dude, I said, Slim, you don't want none of this work because my pen, my pen game and my computer game is vicious. And right now you said another word to me, it's gonna be like, I already got defamation of character looking at me in the face right now. And this motherfucker white friend was like, oh shit. So yeah, you may have my scramble, y'all little dumb asses on away from me. I, I just look this way. Don't let this shit fool you. You has to be in a world of legal trouble. Oh, man. Always cooning. We can't get shit done without these cools bojangling and buck dancing for a punk ass job. A poke ass maintenance man job, a groundskeeping ass job. You gonna go against your race over a groundskeeping job? You, hey Slim, I be wanting to beat man. I be wanting to punch people so bad, slow. <laughs> I just need to whip somebody's ass and just feel better about things. <laughs> <laughs> I can just beat one white disease ass motherfucker's ass. <laughs> This shit crazy, man. It's crazy, bro. I, I... Mm-mm. So, hey, look. Hey, I, what time is it? See, these motherfuckers are ruining my day. It's 2 o'clock. They ain't getting my delivery. This giant food delivery shit. Bro, these, they tripping, bro. They done messed up three men album moves. We had shit that we had to do, but we had to see and wait for these motherfuckers to bring our food. What time is it, Albert? Now waiting again. We supposed, we could have went down and trapped today, cause he was up early. We could have went down there and started trapping. Shit. And they say it's from twelve to two. These motherfuckers not here yet. I could have been doing. I could have. I could have laid some tracks this morning. I could have did some music this morning, but I didn't want to not hear the door. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Uh, they're going to show up. It's just that people okay. be kicking asses on Saturdays, coming okay. up with like, and shit and all this, and that puts the strain on the driver where he could be late getting to other people because bitch ass white people and all them little Indians and shit be wanting to add last minute shit and that be fucking people up, man. Okay, copy that. Okay. 
ain't a hard guy. I ain't a hard guy to deal with. Hold on, so let me get this my ashtray. I think I might jang it. Hold on. Damn. Damn. What you can do is send him a text and let him know this is really uh putting a damper to my guests that I have today. What time are you coming and how long will you be? Oh, would your clients call you? No, man. You, you, the delivery person has delivery. You go back to the app, man, and you can... Uh, no, no, no. See, no, see, no. I, I ain't got the app. This is coming through my program. Oh, man. The punk app. Them motherfuckers, right. <laughs> so I don't know if they be, look, they sent me an order. Look, the order came Wednesday, but it was the wrong order for somebody else in somebody else's name. So I called the kid, call, I called my old kid, which he the director, because my kid's working, he just on some goofy shit off the gate. So don't nobody want to do their job. Uh, don't nobody want to do they don't nobody don't want to do their paperwork no more. That's what it is. Then they got lazy. So, so I called her and told her like, "What's going on?" Because my case I'm building against them. My case I'm building against them because I sit back and I'm like the feds. I'm gonna sit back and build this case. I'm gonna sit back and document days, times, and what happens in incidents, circumstances, all that. I got notebooks for days. You know how I get out. I got a whole notebook for they ass, okay? And I'm about to, about to start a new one for uh, that marketplace. Too. I'm about to start another notebook for them. So when I when I so when I file my claims, when I in the in the courthouse is three blocks away from my house. <laughs> so and it's only eighty bucks. I got eighty bucks. Eighty bucks ain't. I can panhandle eighty bucks. Okay, I got I got eighty. Okay, so that ain't nothing to file. And that, that means that's 40 to file and $40 for the sheriff to bring it to you. <laughs> Not playing no games. Yeah. So the, the first thing is that with, with the program is that y'all are using my personal identity to open up accounts using my name and my address, but you're paying for it with uh, your program credit card. That's a form of identity theft. You can't be using my identity to order shit in my name and build accounts in my name. Right, right. You can't do it. You got a prime video, you got a, you got an Amazon account that I can't get into. Why is that? You're using my identity. So I told I told the director again, look, once again, I'm getting more proof of y'all taking people's identity and y'all flipping people's identity with this program, with these program donations. Cause they used to get the card. They used to give us giant cards. Now they, they now you put your order in and then the giant will bring it to you. Why is that? Because y'all was stealing money from the cards, bro. Come on, man. Come on, man. Hey, wow, yo. So man, but see, you know, that's why that's why that trap thing, that's why that tra- that that trap thing comes in handy. You know what I'm saying? Because that way I, I'm and I'm trying to get all the way like that. That when I right. when I grab a bag, I won't be able to never have to worry about a bag again, and don't have to worry about performing or killing off one of my homies or some old goofy ass shit like that to keep my fucking bag. <laughs> you know, hold on, I got I got I got I got me a dub in. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna cut it and hit another one. Hold on. 